Hi everyone and welcome to this series of videos. In this series of videos, we're going to be putting together a REST API with the Django REST framework. Django REST framework is a set of tools that allows you to build a REST API on top of the Django web framework. It gives you a set of tools that enables you to implement the best practices while building a REST API. So we're going to look into the various concepts uh, involved while building a REST API with Django and Django REST framework. So the source code for this is going to be uh, the GitHub repo, which I'm going to leave in the description. Uh, feel free to follow along. We also have the API deployed live on Heroku, which is a platform as a service tool that allows us to uh, build to build and deploy our applications in a very easy way. We're going to look into how to deploy this application to Heroku as well as to document it. So for example here on the docs endpoint we have the documentation of our API in, in Swagger. So the purpose of doing this is to allow front-end developers to make use of our API without having to be confused about what each endpoint does. So right here we have the different endpoints that are associated with our API. So we have those that are specific to authentication as well as those that are specific to orders. So what we're going to do is to implement some of these. So let me actually show you how some of these endpoints work. So right here we have the authentication endpoint. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a user. So I'm going to go to the sign up endpoint and I say try it out. So right in here, what I'll do is to come and let's say register with a username. So the first username I'm going to provide is going to be Jonathan. And then let's say I provide an email. So I'm going to provide that email as let's say Jonathan, uh, let's say at gmail.com. So what I'm going to say is gmail.com. So I provide the phone number. So I'm going to look into how to also implement phone number fields with Django. So in this case, I'm going to provide my number as uh, 08. Uh, so I'm going to provide the phone number. And after providing the phone number, I'll also provide a password. So let's say I provide my password as password. And then let's say 123. So after providing this password, I'll click execute. And this is going to go ahead and create the user. So for the user to log in, we're going to use JWT authentication. So user logs in with their credentials and then accesses a token pair. So this token pair uh, has a refresh and an access token. So let's go ahead and do that. So using our email and our password, we're going to be able to access the different endpoints that are protected on our application. So when I go to authorize, we are going to provide our bearer and then the API key, which is going to be our access token. So what I'm going to do is to get uh, an access token. So I'll go to auth JWT create and when I try this out, we provide our email. So I'll provide uh, an email. So I'm going to say Jonathan35 at gmail.com and as well provide my password. So when I provide my password, I'll come and say the password is password one, two, three. So after doing this, I'll go ahead and execute. Now, since this user exists, we are going to get a token pair. We are going to get an access as well as a refresh token. So I'll copy the access token. And right after copying this access token, I'm going to go to our authorize button. And within our authorize button, I'm going to authorize and access the different protected endpoints of the application. So in this case, I'm going to say bearer and then the token. So I'll authorize. And this is going to give us access to the various protected endpoints of our application. So let's say I wanted to get a list of all orders made. So I'll go to the get all orders endpoint and let's try it out. So when I execute, since we don't have any created orders on our API in production, it's going to return an empty list. So this series of videos is going to be uh, dedicated to those who want to learn the Django REST framework, as well as those who want to gain some more knowledge about the Django REST framework. Thank you for watching, and if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as it helps me out. And also leave a like, a comment about what you feel about this video. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.